lot of rain hitting the area. Strong storms and even a tornado warning earlier this afternoon impacted parts of our state. Meteorologist Stacy Donaldson is tracking it all. Stacy. Yes, we've been on the air with you for the last hour or so, uh, tracking not only severe thunderstorm warnings, but tornado warnings as well. And thank goodness those have expired. Now we do have severe thunderstorm warnings here across the Front Range, mostly to the east of I-25 at this point. But these storms have held together very well as they've come down out of the mountains and the foothills and pushed across the Front Range and the Eastern Plains. So uh, severe thunderstorm warning in effect here just to the east of I-25, uh, out towards Strasburg and just east of Watkins. And most of these are over rural areas now. But earlier we had tornado warnings up toward um, Broomfield and down south around the Pinery. So that's why you see all of those blue dots on the radar. It's because of those hailstones that were coming down. Very heavy rain and lots of hail pushing across the area. So at this point, I'll slow this radar down. You can see that we really don't have much happening here in Denver. We've seen quite a few lightning strikes as this storm pushed off out of the way up toward Brighton. Uh, from Thornton to Brighton, we have heavy rainfall at this point, lightning strikes and some reports of hail throughout the area. Also very heavy rain up toward Wigan and a severe thunderstorm warning in effect there. The thunderstorm has been very active around Roggen and really not moving a whole lot. So the severe thunderstorm warning was issued and extended until 5 p.m. here just around Wiggins and up toward Weldona as well. Now down to the south of there around Bennett, and parts south, we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect until 445 and 5 o'clock respectively. Um, also pockets of hail within these storms. And those are the blue shaded areas, that light blue you see in the middle of the storm. Those are hailstones that are falling here uh, with these thunderstorms moving on through. So we also have the active weather all the way up into northeastern Colorado. We've had severe thunderstorm warnings here around Holyoke as well. These in effect until 430 with a lot of lightning and very heavy rainfall pushing through. We've also had reports of hail here north of Yuma and also south of Holyoke. And we don't want to leave out the high country. We have flash flood watches in effect until midnight there. We have some strong thunderstorm activity and very heavy rain right around Silverthorne as well. And then we've seen the potential for flooding rain here out west. So around Nucla and flood advisories in effect around Grand Junction as well and flash flood watches in effect till midnight as I mentioned. So we've had a lot of heavy rain moving through this area. There's just a ton of moisture to work with here coming up from the southwest and feeding these storms as they move through the area. So that's why we're also seeing not only the tornado warnings and the severe thunderstorm warnings, but we're also seeing flood advisories as well, especially around Metro Denver, as we start to see the potential for flooding on the roads, just with the roads, the creeks and the streams being overwhelmed by that amount of rainfall in a short period of time. So putting this radar back into motion, you can see that these storms really kept together as they came in from the southwest, moved off to the northeast, and also we've seen that development up into northeastern Colorado as well. So we may still see some delays out of D if you have some flights, you may want to uh, call ahead just to make sure that everything is on track uh, because we had so much heavy rainfall and gusty winds uh, that we definitely saw delays out at the airport. Now, at this point, most of that rain is to the east at the north of the airport, but well, you never know. As we see the hail kind of dropping off as well here around Denver, we had a lot of it earlier, but at this point, most of those severe thunderstorms are to the east of the Denver metro, out just west of Deer Trail near Strasburg and into Watkins. So we are going to keep a close eye on these thunderstorms as they continue to move through off to the east for the rest of the afternoon and evening. Uh, but we are still under a severe thunderstorm watch for the entire metro and eastern plains until 8 p.m. tonight. So we're not quite out of the woods yet as these thunderstorms continue to make their way off to the north and east, but we will keep you out ahead of the storm and keep you updated on any further developments. And we'll be right back after this break.